As the vacuum turns on, you'll notice the pressure dropping significantly on the vac meter. When you see bubbles, that means nitrogen is flowing through the system. This is an effective way for you to grease your inlet tube for the Schlenk line. It also prevents very sticky fingers. Gently insert the tube into the flask and give it just one twist. That should be enough for it to seal completely. Notice how the top two thirds of the neck of the flask turn clear. That's what we're looking for. Attach from the neck of the flask and attach the pressure tubing onto the inlet. As you turn on the vacuum very slowly, you will start to hear a hissing sound. This means that the vacuum is on and it is operating properly. It's usually a good indicator to know you've got your setup working correctly. Now very, very slowly turn on the nitrogen tap, but be sure to watch the bubbles in the bubble trap to make sure no oil gets sifted up into the oxygen. If the bubbles get too vigorous and start to get sucked up into the tubing and into the schlenk line, Quickly pull back the nitrogen and this will release the bubbles back into the oil. Keep a really close eye on those bubbles so that they don't get sucked up into the schlenk line. This step is critical so make sure you take your time with it. Once the flask has been pumped with nitrogen, we can now work on syringe techniques. Insert the syringe into the flask but not into the solution. Then pull back the syringe to suck in some nitrogen. Remove the syringe gently from the flask. And pump out the nitrogen. This flushes the syringe and makes sure there is inert gas of nitrogen throughout. It's important to repeat this step about three to five times. Now we can get ready to extract some solution with our syringe. Now insert the syringe into the solution. Keep one hand on top of the super seal with the syringe and the other hand to draw back the solution. Typically you want a little more than you need so try to aim for plus 0.2 or 0.3 ml more than what you need. Now gently bend the needle back as shown and expel any air bubbles back into the flask. Ensure you have measured the correct amount of liquid. I hope this video has helped you learn a little more about how to use a slink line.